How's it guys? I'm Andrew Mela and you're watching AVM Fishing. Today I went out diving, got some nice fish, got some other crickle and we just launched Simon now and we see what he's going to come back with. Hopefully a nice red Roman.
Okay, now we're gonna clean what we caught. Beautiful. Some places known as a bronze bream. Used to be called a hot and tot fish, now it's called a cape bream. Very nice to eat. You just need to know how to clean it properly. So just run your knife on the top, the other side, without cutting yourself. <laughs> Lift it up, put it in there. Good. Through the pin bones and over the rib cage. Okay. White white meat, extremely nice. So then, you run your finger down, and you'll feel pin bones. You just want to cut from either side of it. You'll see a whole line come out. Cool. There you go. Okay, now you want to take the skin off. Yes, sir. When do those white legs last exposed to the sun? <laughs> My God, look at that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that little, little meme. It's meme a off. horrible sight, I can tell you. There you go. <laughs> now, this is a boneless flay. <laughs> Let's just clean off some of the efficiency. scales with salt water. And then we're going to batter it and deep fry it. Clean these, and you'll see me in the kitchen. Put some salt water in here, fresh ocean water. Just want to rinse it, get up in the scales. Beautiful meat. Really beautiful. Down in there. And you're cleaning it like this, it also gives you an opportunity to feel it to see if you missed any bones. Right, this here is called an Ali Crickle. It's a jumbo snail and they're really good to eat. You're allowed five of them per day. Uh, the minimum size is 6.35 centimeters. And yeah, all you do is you make a little fire, put a little bit of garlic butter on top, and let it boil. Then the fillets. Hot and tot needs to be a minimum size of 22 centimeters in Cape Town and you're allowed to catch 10 per day with a recreational license. Um, if you're interested in getting one of those, you get them at a local post office. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to purge these snails with salt water. Let's get these fillets in here. Okay. Let's fill it with salt water. Are you going out tomorrow, but there's no food? Let's hope they will fit. So, now, I'm going to show you after how dirty it actually gets. So this is a nice big one. That's beautiful, it's got a little limpet on it. <laughs> Should take that off, really. The third beautiful carapace. Some people make jewelry out of it. Um, this here is quite interesting. It's really beautiful. This is called an armadillo, and it's really hard. Quite beautiful. If you look at it, it's got so many different colors on it. And it's quite weird because I got two of these that have armadillos on them. Very, very cool. 
So yeah, I'll get those off and put them back in the ocean. Alright, so we're just about to make a fire for the other pickle. And very important to note when you're outside in nature and you want to make a fire, is make sure that everything around the fire is wet. Because the last thing you want to do is start a wildfire and land up in jail for being not clever. Okay, so just all the way around. You can let it soak for a little while too. Are we ready to make a fire? Let's get ready to rumble. Just having to make some coals, then we can get the other crick on. A real smart guy is Dan the man. Okay, now we're gonna take a blob of butter. Okay, well. Put the ginger in there. Got some coconut oil for the deep frying. generous amount. Okay, so now we're going to get the coconut oil, malt it up nicely, and we can start putting the olecrypto on. Beautiful. Let's put it upside down. Try and let the water come out, just so that you have a bit more space for your garlic butter. Stuck on them. Three. Four. And five. Okay, you see there, it's quite a bit of s sand and whatnot, so it just cleans them out a bit better. And here, we've got the butter melting slowly, in with that garlic, that's going to be good. Right. So this here, the crumbs, just regular crumbs, it's already been used so I'm just going to put the fish straight into it. Okay, there's our fish. Okay, 
close that up. Rub it in, make sure that it sticks on. take it out it looks like that and that's how we're gonna deep fry it all right here you can see it's boiling extremely nice getting all the flavors in all the garlic and the butter there's the fish and the crumbs let's go in These are so thin, as soon as the crumb starts to brown, then you'll take it off. Make sure it doesn't stick. These are beautiful, absolutely no bones, no skin, and it tastes so good. A lot of people say it tastes a bit like crayfish, the West Coast Rock Lobster. Ah, I don't think so though. <laughs> it tastes like fish. Alright, let's get that going nicely. Things are extremely hot. Woo! Burn myself. <laughs> As Blue Gabe says, only if they had smell of vision. Nice. That is stunning. I'll show you how we get these out now. Just let them cool down a bit. Oh, that's so white inside. Yes, please. If you guys are interested in videos like this, I recommend you watch a guy by the name of Smash Fishing. Really cool. He goes out foraging, shows you how to cook the stuff. It's quite awesome. And then another guy is Dear Me For Dinner, Robert Arrington. That guy is a legend. Yeah, he's really, <laughs> he's leaving his two daughters with an amazing legacy, yeah. Really, take my hat off to that guy. Okay, fish has been on for about five minutes, and that's all you need. Open it up, yeah. You can see how beautifully white that is. So, let's get all of this off. Oh, so soft. Let's get the fan off the heat. And look at that, beautiful. Now I'm going to show you how to take out the meat. So it's cooked, you just need a fork. Stick it in there, pull the whole thing out. Okay, we don't need all the guts. 
doesn't look too appetizing on those but cut there that you can put back in and that you discard all right so now what i like to do is see this looks like a tongue i like to cut a v in that and take it out and then you'll see there's a bit more guts over there you can just take your finger and it comes right out Let's do the rest and then I'll show you the next step. So this is the jaw. Quite beautiful. Okay, now they're all taken out. Let's just take one of these off. Alright, so now what we do we just clean it up a little bit, take that off, and then you're looking at making nice thin slices. And look how white that meat is inside. Absolutely beautiful. Alright guys, so this is the finished product, you got your fried Cape Bream fillets, you got your Ali Crickle, which is so soft, and just some greens, so let's test it out quickly. Mm. It's so soft. And very flaky mm. not too much of a fishy taste that is beautiful really wow mm. Mm. got some other pickle apparently this is the closest tasting thing you're gonna get to palamun which is abalone in south africa Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Not too chewy. It's quite sweet, actually. Mm. So, thanks for watching. If you liked it, like and subscribe. And yeah, look forward to doing some more videos. Those two rocks there, they're called bum rock because when you're down closer to the shore, it looks like two butt cheeks. <laughs> but yeah, so I was diving around here, and then if you look down there, I was diving there in that 